Hello, this is Miss Breslin. I'm back again with some exciting math. We are doing long division, and I just wanted to go over uh, some of the vocabulary that we are using for our long division. I'm going to start with 53 divided by 4. So one thing that we've gone over is the number that's inside of this box is called our dividend. And then this number that is outside is our, oops, oh dear, <laughs> is called our divisor. When we have an answer, we do not call it an answer. We are going to call this our quotient. So these are the parts that I am going to be referring to. And these are what we've been referring to in class. So. I'm going to show you the two ways that I have taught the children so far, and hopefully one of them works for them. I'm working on a third way, but I need to teach myself that third way before I can teach it to the children. So we will start out with 242 divided by 3. Now, the students received a cheeseburger, um, a picture of a cheeseburger that uh, lists all the steps for long division if we were to do it in the standard algorithm, which is what this is. So our first step would be to divide. Something that I've asked the children to look at is if your divisor is larger than the first number in here, then you cannot divide into that number. You'll have to go over and look at this whole number and then try to see how many times 3 will go into 24. So um, 3 will go into 24 8 times. Our next step is to multiply. Now I've emphasized with the children when you multiply doing long division it is always 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 going to be your divisor and part of your quotient, always. So now we'll take 8 times 3, which is 24. Our next step is to subtract. Our next step is to check. Now what we are checking here is to see, is my remainder less than my divisor? If so, then I am potentially done. I also need to check and see, do I have anything to bring down? Which I do, so that cues me that I am not finished. So I bring down my next number, and then I repeat my process all over again and divide. To help the children out, I have told them that they could go ahead and do this, if that helps them, so they remember that it's three that they're using for their divisor. Um, three will not be, two will not be divided by three. And so um, that would be a zero. And then once again, we always multiply part of our quotient with our divisor. And so three times zero is zero. We subtract again. And now it's time for us to check. 2 is smaller than my divisor. I need to check and make sure there's nothing for me to bring down, which there's not. So that cues my brain to let me know that I am done, and I'm going to have a remainder of 2. So that is our standard algorithm.